Hey everyone, James and Mark here with another video. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button, answer these three questions in the chat. Where are you from? What's your favorite food? And how did you find us? My name is James, this is Mark, and we film videos every Monday and Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Welcome back to another live stream, that's everybody. That's right, welcome back, and welcome back to us. Welcome back to us. Welcome back to Orange County. I'm still on a little vacation mode, though. <laughs> I had so much fun. Um, in Monterey. In Monterey. Yeah. yeah. I keep telling Hedy, are we going to Monterey? He keeps looking at me like, are we going Does back? he want to go back? I don't know. He's been he's been sleeping it off. He's party probably partied the hardest out yeah. of the three of us, right? Definitely. Um, but if you want to know more about our Monterey trip, make sure you subscribe. We're gonna have a vlog on that soon. And keep liking this video. If you see that little button above Mark's head, when we oh, hit oh. the like goal, uh, it unlocks different features and punishments on the channel. And one of them this week is to preview our next travel vlog. Oh, you already have a preview? Just we a, just just a got snippet. back yesterday. Yeah, I made sure I had enough to put together for that. And all of the, um, a lot of the wheel stuff this week is related to today's um, theme. theme, which we'll get to in a second. But first, let's say hi to everybody in the chat. We have Olivia, first one here. Hi, uncles. Happy Monday. Hi, Olivia. Happy Monday. We have Elda and Mike. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Sabrina, we had a wonderful birthday celebration. Thank you so much. Barb says, I hope one item is Captain Crunch chicken so you can be the tester before I attempt to make it. Ah, well, stay tuned. Actually, spoiler alert, I think all the cereal we're using today is on screen, but. <laughs> Actually, James, one of his idea could have been Captain Crunch chicken, mm. but we're not doing that today. Maybe next time. We have Colleen, happy Monday, James and Mark, welcome. We have Garrett, welcome to the live stream. Teddy, happy birthday, James and Mark, thank you. Uh, Mark's birthday is in two more days. My birthday was on Saturday. So this is the few days where we're the same age. Uh -huh. so. You're old like me. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you, you're not acting your age if we're the same age. Because I'm young. Please. <laughs> we have Allison. Welcome to the live stream. Julie says, hi, peeps. Julie, I thought about Julie today because it was still really bright out at like 30 minutes ago. Well, the sunset and it's daylight it's savings getting... time. It's, and then it's going to be even lighter, yeah. brighter later. Well, it's because every time it's still bright while we're on live stream, that's when it's like camper season for them. Oh. And then we don't see her anymore. It's great knowing you. <laughs> <laughs> Linda, your trip looks so relaxing. It was indeed very relaxing. We'll, we'll talk more about it uh, in a little bit. Donna, thank you so much. So glad y'all are back home, back we, safe and back live. Yes, yes. we returned safely. Bonnie, welcome to the live stream. We have Everlyn. Am I saying that right? You pour the milk on the table, throw the bowl at the wall, and then simply vacuum the cereal. So not a fan of the cereal. I think. <laughs> <laughs> also, take a second to uh, vote in today's poll. I'll ask you the poll question. Yeah, the poll I... question is, when it comes to cereal, do you pour the cereal first, then the milk? Or the milk first, and then the cereal? Oh, 100%. Cereal first. Hmm. So yeah, vote in that poll and we'll we'll take a look later on. Oh, I always yeah. do cereal first, then milk. 100% cereal first. I'll tell you why later. Oh, okay. Stick around to Stick find around. out. <laughs> Shauna, she on a cruise, but she's signing into our stream. Yay. Thank you so much. Oh, I hope you're enjoying. still on your cruise. That's right. It was like a two-week thing. Bro. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So lucky. And everyone is sharing their favorite cereals in the chat. Keep on doing that throughout the evening. Garrett and Shauna just shared theirs. Tori is actually eating Special K right now, which I don't remember what Special K is. It reminds me of cornflakes, but I know it's not, right? It's like cornflakes with uh, little bits Bear? of strawberries, strawberries in it, maybe. But um, you know oh, what was misleading? Yes. They did a really good job marketing. Special where K. It was, I think they call it Special K diet. And they promised like you'll lose six inches off your waist if you eat Special K like X amount of days. Is that true? Can they make false claims like that? But I think this is back in the day when oh, I'm sure companies regulated. were less accountable for their marketing ploys. I'm, but I do remember it was like, yeah, it's like a diet, not a diet food, but like it helps you slim down. That's like back in the day, like they advertised cigarettes as being healthy for you, right? Wasn't yeah. there an era where that was allowed? Obviously. No, but it's not. <laughs> Cynthia, hello, greetings from the dentist's office. Okay, are you in the 
chair or are you working Look. what do you think what do you think actually <laughs> don't do that motion again from the side it's odd oh i was doing a i was a patient at a dentist oh office. i was like what dentist office is it's that a suction mm -hmm. suction mama okay suction. anyways what do you think is she in the chair or is she working uh she's probably working right? uh, working i'm very intrigued now so that you have but to wouldn't you say hello greetings from work yeah, so but I this is a little, she, this I is like she's jazzy. Like, I think she's oh, a patient. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, unsolved mysteries over here. <laughs> is this the birthday suit episode? No, but Tiho, we still need to use your super chat towards the G-string fund. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> I'm going to need a lot more than $5 worth of material for this. It's a lot of string. Keep things in its place. Let's use dental floss. It's going to be minty down there, and then I don't minty want it mental, down there, mentally. Super clean. <laughs> uh, I have to soak in all the lives I can before poof, I'm gone. What month is it where you uh, are, are going to disappear? Yeah. Age is just a number. Agree and disagree. It is just a number, Mostly but agree. it's also back pain and like, you know, just soreness everywhere, bones cracking everywhere. So it's just a number plus more. Julie says, I'm in Mark, and I'm not liking that. <laughs> Excuse me? I hope that's autocorrect. Yeah, I'm with Mark, probably. With Mark, like Mark. Cereal first, then milk. Only monsters do it the other way around. True that. True that. I'm not a huge fan of cereal, but I love some Honey Nut Cheerios. Did you know that there's Honey Nut Cheerios and then just Cheerios? Yeah. 100%. Who likes the regular Cheerios? Babies. Oh. I didn't know that. I really did it. Someone who's trying to cut down on sugar intake. Mm. Mm. You already named two categories really quickly. You're very good. <laughs> Dana, happy to have you back. I love the lives from your hotel. Thank you for uh, checking in on us. Yeah, those were very impromptu. Not supposed to be uploaded, but I guess like we didn't do anything like bad or anything. So oh, I guess yeah. we kept it up. Evelyn, welcome to the live stream. Thank you for welcoming us back. I'm in the chair waiting for the numbing to kick in. There you oh, go. Oh, see? see? She's a patient. Yeah. To kick in. So that means you, oh, so like you got the you thing know, and then you're just waiting. Sometimes yeah. that the numbing stuff tastes like bubble gum to me. Really? Oh, I guess I can see yeah, that. Yeah. It tastes like bubble gum. Oh my gosh. I forgot about Golden Grounds. Isn't that the bear with the blue overalls? Then what's the frog? Smacks. Oh, Smacks. Right? Golden gray. Yeah, blue overall bear. Yeah. Mm. So he's, he's skinny. He's a skinny bear. He's not like hefty. So that's what I remember. Yeah. Perla, thank you so much. Hi, guys. Happy belated birthday, James. I'm going to celebrate all month like you, Pearl Tober. Okay. <laughs> Pearl Tober. I need to come up with a clever name. Jarge. I don't want, I don't <laughs> want my birthday month to be called Jarge. Jamarge. Jamarch. Jamarchi bra, Jamarchi bra. No, I'm going braless all month, Mama. Ooh, mine's easy. Marky March. Oh yeah, see, it's all on brand. Mark. <laughs> what? Like M A R K C H. Oh, you're obsessed with your name. I have noticed since I've met okay. you. Okay, it's because you Sc are Andy. Scratch you're mock, green. scratch, scratch mock on buttocks. That was his. Zanger. At least I could use my name, Mister Present Principal. President. Ah, no, <laughs> I don't no. know what that is. <laughs> You'd lucky if you could spell. Oh, it. precinct. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Michael says I work late. Mike cooked. He he's such a sweetheart. Fragrant. Coconutty haddock curry from scratch. Ooh. Haddock. Now, what's a haddock? I think it's fish. I could be mistaken. I, I mean, I think that, it's is, fish. It, is it related to the a Pollock family? Pollock. Maybe that's why I think it's, but maybe it's not. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Haddock. One. We'll see. As I, guys, as high lovelies from Toronto, I sing happy birthday for you, Mark. It's my birthday today. Can you both sing for me? Yeah, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, we can sing for you. Right? Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear SI guy. Happy birthday to you. 
happy birthday. Hope you're enjoying. And we are not singing any more birthday songs for the rest of the stream. That was for everybody. That's for everybody. All the March birthdays, everybody. that was for you. Doing that. And Haddock is a white fish. Wisconsin oh. is huge with fish fries. There we go. So I wasn't oh off base. Oh my gosh. Mikey Chen went to Wisconsin to go to a seafood restaurant. They cook. It looked like oh, yeah. they, they cook everything in this big cauldron. It didn't look appetizing, but I kind of was curious to try it. Where was he? He was in. It was in Wisconsin. Was Minnesota, Michigan, Michigan, Michigan. Somewhere Michigan. in that area. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and we got John on. Happy Monday, guys! Mr. Happy Monday, Mr. Dang. All right. So today is actually National Cereal Day. Mm. So this is James and Mark channel. We're not going to just eat three random bowls of cereal. We're actually going to be making a three-course meal using cereal in each of the recipes. You know, now that I think about it, we just got back from Monterey. Maybe we should have just eaten three bowls of cereal. <laughs> The special K one, especially. Mm, yeah, so we did ate. Did you weigh yourself today? We ate a lot. We ate like royalty up in Monterey. Yeah, yeah, it was really good food up there too. I want to say everywhere just has good food. If you just know how to look for them, mm -hmm. then they'll have good food. I'd say that our food, you know, the food progressively got tastier and tastier the longer we uh, stayed. I don't know why yeah, it was. Yeah, but... birthday dinner meal was really, really good. Mm -hmm. I watched the footage of it last night, and we looked like we were in ecstasy. Oh, really? Yeah. It was it was that good. Yeah. The restaurant was really good. So uh, we're going to be making an appetizer, an mm -hmm, entree, mm -hmm. and a dessert. We might be making it out of order, but let's walk through what we're going to be making. So what are we making for appetizer? We are making meatballs. 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 But why would we use cereal when making meatballs? Well, I think so, meatballs usually have some kind of like breading to help bind to the meatballs. So I'm guessing we're going to do something with cereal. Oh, yes. So we're going to use Frosted Flakes cereals at our, as our bread crumb to make a sweeter meatball. Oh. Um, a sweet meatball, not a Swedish meatball. <laughs> It's just a sweet meatball. Okay, you've expended all your dad jokes for the stream. <laughs> uh, but we're also going to simmer it down with some tomato-based sauce, too. So, oh, okay. So maybe the tomato sauce will help tame down the sweetness from the Frosted Flakes. Okay, so that's our appetizer. That's and then moving appetizer. on to entree, mm, we entree. will be using, I think, the cornflakes. We are using cornflakes. And we're going to be breading something. Right? Yeah, so we're doing cornflake breaded chicken tenders. Mmm. Now, are we gonna um, are we frying that in a skillet? Are we doing an air fryer situation? What's, Let's just are we air fry it. it. Okay. Yeah, I noticed that. Uh, so I was doing the key tags for the YouTube, and I typed in chicken tender cornflake, and the most popular search after that was air fryer. Really? So I was well, like. We never done this before, no. so let's just see how it turns out in the air fryer. And I don't know why, but this was the smallest box they had available on was it Amazon Fresh. You want to compare, like, and it's not it's this. not even a family size either. No. Speaking of which, the back of the box actually actually advertises using and for chicken for chicken. But I read the recipe on the back of the box; it does not sound good at all. It's just chicken and cornflakes, and it just tells you to bake it. There's no, there's there's no, no even seasoning. Salt and pepper. I okay. know. That's it's like, how is that going to be good? Mm. Um, I did make honey mustard really quickly, <gasps> two minutes before we started our live today at 6 a.m. Because I was like, wait, hold on. What are we going to eat our chicken tender with? I was like, oh, shoot. So I just put some Dijon mustard, mayo, and honey, a little bit of red pepper, and then it's sitting in the fridge right now. My stomach so is growling just hearing that. Hopefully, the flavors will mend with each other as we're cooking mm -hmm. so that's sitting that's already sitting in the fridge yeah and then on to mr desert dessert dessert which actually we're going to end up making first we're just going to make a classic uh rice krispie mm. treat the cu last couple of times we bought rice krispie treat out mark has consistently said that it tastes stale so ever since he's been saying that i'm like let's just make it at home and have some fresh Rice Krispie treats for days. I love it for breakfast. It's a great breakfast food, I think, without having to like pour out your you know cereal and bowl of milk. Like sometimes I don't want to deal with it. I just want something that's ready to go. So we're just gonna make a batch of that, and I think we're gonna make that first because it needs some time to kind of like chill out and rest off to the side. Sure thing. 
that's that's our game plan for tonight. So hopefully uh, you all stick around and enjoy what we got planned. We're also going to be dipping, I think, uh, some broccoli in some of this cheese sauce. Not cereal related, but it just sounds I'm good. I'm just thinking about a simple side with our cornflake chicken tenders. I'm trying so to keep it low carb. Steam the broccoli, but that's kind of boring. So add some Velveeta I cheese. I've had on Velveeta it. cheese in a long time. Me neither. Yeah, I don't even know so what we'll people see. use it on normally. Well, they used it on pasta and broccoli right here. Oh, well, there you go. But anyways. Keith says Kylie Jenner makes her French toast with cornflakes. I can see that. So we're influencers just like her mama. You know that, right? We they like chicken tonight. It also was National Flapjacks Day, but we looked at the two options. We're like, let's do the cereal route. I think we made pancakes on our stream before, but I'm like using cereal to make a three course meal. That sounds a little bit more interesting. So we went that route instead. All right. Pauline says, hi, guys. So creative. Can't wait to see. You. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah, you stay. Don't go anywhere. Stay on and see how well we do or not do. So it could be a success or failure. We just don't know. And we can't even edit this. So you see what really happens on live. Yeah. Yeah. No, it'll be in real time. Literally. Literally. Uh, SI guy, thank you so much for the one can, one dollar Canadian. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you. Side guy, guy, side guy, guy, thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you so much again for that. And Chrome says you should make fried chicken with Rice Krispies. Yeah. That's, oh, yeah. That would be a good choice, too. Um, you know, again, like we could have done any other cereal, but then uh, we wanted to do use three different kinds of cereals. So yeah, we could have de technically done Rice Krispie treats in the meatball with the chicken and with the dessert. But that's kind of boring for y'all. You know, you kind of want us to use different types of cereal. We all about James's other idea was to make chicken tenders using different cereals. So one with cornflakes, one with Captain Crunch, one with Fruity Pebbles, you know. John was like, where are the grape nuts? And, I was, and then Julia's yeah. like, grape nuts belong in the trash. <laughs> grape so. nuts is my favorite too. I remember uh, John and I are the rare Pokemon. So I'm actually just going to follow the recipe on the box here just to make it simple in my life. Okay, so how much butter do you need? Um, three tablespoons of butter because we're going to make six cups worth of this. Got Which her. one is the 10-ounce package? Well, well, this is 12. It's 12, so you have to use this. They don't sell 10-ounce package. That's okay. I'm just going to use it all. Two ounces extra of yeah, um, marshmallow ain't going to mess up with anybody, right? So yeah, I'll need three tablespoons of that. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll do this for you. Excellent. And then one package of this and then six cups. So let me open this. Uh, Foxy Brown Babe says, happy birthday, Mark. It's his birthday, birthday <laughs> eat. Wait, it's, it's, it's the eve eve of his birthday. So Wednesday. And Tony is here. Happy Monday, happy Monday. Toss in the butter here. Gonna need a paper towel already. Got my hands dirty somehow. On the butter? I touch I had it. There was no way to touch it without touching the butter part. And then um do we have a measuring cup? Am I able to use that one? Yeah, because you're just doing cereal, right? Yeah. So we're just melting butter. This is very simple. So we're just melting butter and we're gonna melt the marshmallows. And then after that is all nicely melted, then you add the cereal using a buttered spatula or wax paper, evenly press mixture into, okay. So I'll do that as the last step. Make sure you uh, like this video. Linda says, happy early birthday, Mark. Thank you, thank you. I like how James is oh, reading the instructions like he's a scientist. I approach cooking as a science more than I think the way no, you like, approach. I, I heard you read from the box. 
melt the butter. And then I see you reading that same instruction at least five times. <laughs> That's not a read, it's just an observation. I'm just gonna turn on the air because do you feel, are you kind of warm? I mean, I'm heated after that comment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not warm, but I think the air will help. Yeah. Oh, can we just acknowledge? The, okay, so oh, I'm yeah. not I'm not wearing public appropriate t-shirt because I this is my house shirt because mm -hmm. it kind of fits funny. It's not like it's not my size, but it's mine's Frosted Flakes in Korean right here. But it's the only cereal shirt I have, so you're all lucky. You all get to see me wearing a shirt I would never wear outside because it doesn't fit me well. Mm -hmm. However, James is also wearing the American version of Kellogg's Frost. I realized I just wore this for the Super Bowl uh, live stream because it was the Bengals. Oh, yeah, the Tiger. Yeah. yeah, so here we both had Tony the Tiger. Mine has muscular arms. Sponsor us, uh, Frosted Flakes it or says, Kellogg's. Con puro sutu. Mark Stash is really coming in good. I'm going to add the marshmallows now. And we're just going to let it melt down. That's exactly why I left some for you. Eh, no, calories. Well, that's happening. I'm just gonna let it sit. I'm gonna start measuring out my. Cereal. Have you ever done like the icebreaker game where? Um... You're supposed to build like a tower using oh, yeah. spaghetti and marshmallows. I used to do that all the time with the kids and the after school program that I ran. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good team building. Uh, we're not ready for it. I'm going to let it melt more. Got it. How many likes are we at, y'all? Yeah. Can we spin the wheel yet already? Oh, the marshmallows are already melting. Yeah. Jay says, hi, I just saw you two are live right now. I hope you had a great vodka. Yes, it was great. It was amazing. We did see a lot of vodkas on the way a lot, yeah. up and down. Vodka means cows in Espanol. A lot of vodkas and horses. Yeah. Maybe Mark can vouch for this. Am I wrong? But milk in Korea, well, back in my day, was sweet and not like the milk here in America. I remember when I came to America and had milk, I hated it. True? Dairy, I feel like dairy tastes better in other countries. Mm. Definitely. Yeah. When I was there in 2005, my grandma, even like it was common for households to get milk delivered to them daily. Oh, that sounds so nice. I mean, it's still in a carton and you get to pick and choose the quantity, but oh. every morning, um, the milk ajima, the ladies will come and depending on your order, you get X amount of like those cartons of milk. And if you want to add your cult drinks to that too, they give they add that to your order. Mm. So very convenient. Excellent. We just hit our 50 like goals. So while the marshmallows are melting a little bit further, let's do the first wheel of the evening. Yeah. We got some been, new stuff on here. So we have new stuff on the wheel, y'all. This one, right? Yes. James is a little rusty. Wait, this is not the right one. Ooh. Pardon, pardon, pardon me. I'm getting confused. Mozilla? Yeah, it must be, yeah, Firefox. There we go. Whoopsies. Okay. Okay. Right? Let's spin the wheel. What is this? Oh, yay! Hey. Channel member giveaway. Awesome. One of my favorite ones to land on. 
So if you are a channel member, that means you have a nice shiny badge next to your name. Thank you again so much for supporting us. All you need to do right now is drop a guess a number between one and 1,000. And the person that gets closest will receive a $10 Amazon gift card. Yes. And we're going to start the time now. You're going to have and two the, minutes. And the channel members who are on right now, you really have a good yeah, it's really early, so. odds of winning. It's still early in the night. So I feel like um, you know we have maybe a little bit less members on mm -hmm. live at the moment. So yeah. really good timing. So get those guesses in. One guess per person. I'm going to let Mark spit, uh, stir this just a little bit so that I can pull up the number generator. Oh, I did not do it's that very yet. satiating to see the marshmallows semi-melting. It's like it still has a shape, but then it also is kind of melting too. Mm. Awesome. And, you know, this is a great time to just... Thank everyone who are current channel members. So Julie, thank you. John, Teddy, Allison, Tiho, thank you so much for supporting our channel members. Mike, Chris, and Jansen. Yay. And don't fret if you are not a channel member, no worries. There's another wedge on the wheel if it lands on it. It's a subscriber giveaway, which everyone can participate in. So. Yep, and you have a chance to win in that as well. Yeah. Tony, thank you so much for being a channel member. I think we're slowly approaching the one year mark. No way. Member. I think so. And, I, and the badge will change again. It's then. like so. so crazy how fast time is going. Yeah. I'm having such a great time with y'all. I forgot about pressing the button here. The camera almost turned oh. off. <laughs> oh, and we have to change like goal. Yes. Let's do that now. Keep on liking the video. There's more stuff on the wheel. I promise they're exciting. New they're fun stuff. stuff. Theme related, serial related stuff. Avril says, was watching on the TV and had to jump on the phone to comment. 75. Okay, we got your guess in. Uh, 10 more seconds to go. And we're going to select the number. All right, we're going to go with Avril as the last guess. So good luck, everybody. All right, let's go ahead and. Actually, Julie. We'll do Julie. Okay, Julie's <laughs> the last one. Okay, let's uh, generate the number. One, one five seven. seven. One five seven is the number to be. So if one of the mods could let us know. We got a nice consistency going here. So shortly, we're going to be adding six cups of Rice Krispies to the mix. When, when is the optimal time to add it? I like it when I can't really see the shape of the original marshmallow. Got That's it. my preference. Got it. I So like the places that make it with the little, um, how do they get that effect? I want to say they add the cereal with the melted marshmallow. And then as it's like almost halfway done mixing, yeah. they throw in the mini marshmallows mm. in, and then finish mixing it. And then uh, you shape it. And I think I asked you this. Can you use the cream, the marshmallow puff thing to make these? You know how they sell that? Oh, yeah. Because huh. we talked about it, I think, during the Harry Potter stream. I don't I think that was the stream where we talked about it, maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. I, I believe you. I just yeah. don't remember. I guess it, technically, I guess you could use it. And it looks like there's a winner declared. Who's the winner, Mark? Oh, are you? G string maker Tiho. That should be the G string brand name. Tiho? Jiho. <laughs> G <laughs> Jiho made designed by Tiho. Congratulations. Yay. Congratulations. Thank you so much, everybody. All right, Tiho, you know the drill. Message me either on Instagram, James Van Lay, or James Van Lay at gmail.com if one of the mods could just Put that in the chat. That would be phenomenal. And we are getting really close to, I think I can just turn this off because the residual heat will take care of this. Okay, and then I'm going to start measuring out the cereal. Is that bowl for me too? No. Okay, that's separate then. Okay, so I will... Do you need a bowl? I don't. I'm not going to add a straight to. So if you can give me that. We're going to do six cups, y'all. 
Wow, these look, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, okay. One. These look very pale today. Two. Oh, you're right. They're not like toasty Three. looking. Oops, sorry. That one went over. That one went rogue. Five. Oh, Ooh, oh, another oh. rogue one. They're just jumping all over the place. Ah! All right, so I got six cups in here now. I see a couple of cereal bits that I want to get before I forget. Oh, I can give this back to you because it seems like you're going to use it later too, right? Yeah. Thank you. All right, and we're going to just give this a nice quick stir before I put it on to... Oh, yes. Yes, if this is good ASMR. You could always add like sprinkles and other things that like color it up if you want. Or like white chocolate, yeah. Tinsel, maybe after you shake it. Okay, so you don't have to stir it too much because that kind of just does its own thing. And then I'm gonna grab the baking sheet. So I might need your help. This is hot, so I will grab a... Mm, it's hot. We don't have the mix over here yet, right? I'm just uh, rotating it for you, because oh, look at all the, yeah. the marshmallow goodness on the bottom of the pan. Okay. This here. I'm still on stream. I'm not moving anywhere. I can do another mix of this. Oh my god, this looks so good. Should this just be our dinner? <laughs> Bring the spoon. We'll eat it from the pot. I am gonna need to taste test this in a second. Okay, my arm is oh. I was trying to get real cute, but it might not have worked. Okay, I'm going to move this up. And I'm just going to put it on the tray and then I will shape it as we go. Mm. It, yeah, it does look <laughs> like it wider. needs a little bit more sun, just a little bit. And usually I get another piece of parchment and I use that to mold it. Parchment, right? Not wax paper? No, I think it's <laughs> This is my least favorite part about making Rice Krispie Treats is like shaping it. Now you want to shape it when it's still warm, right? Yeah. See, but the thing is, is like... Okay, we'll do that for now and then let it cool and then I can cut them into squares a little bit later. So mm. not the prettiest right now, but oh, it's homemade rustic. Um, you don't want it to be perfectly squared, right? Because then people are gonna assume you just bought the pre-made rice crispy treats and just put it on a platter. Right. All right, so let me set this aside and we can always cut this a little bit later. I do want to give Mark an opportunity to taste test it. I get to taste test? Well, I'm going to bite it right after you, Mama. Oh, my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. It's really good. Mmm. How do you eat everything so clean? I mean, I have have, you, you actually have a string here. I have a lot of marshmallow string. Mm. All right. I think we're ready to move on to the next thing while I eat this off camera. I don't want you guys to actually, you deserve to see my shame. There's no shame in this. This is good. Hey, you want one more bite or are you good? You want a spoon to scrape it off? Don't enable me. <laughs> actually, here, let me do the, give you one more bite. 
Thank you. I love this. Mm. Isn't this yummy? Oh my God. All right. So we finished dessert. So we'll enjoy that towards the end of the stream. But now we're going to head back to appetizer. Yep. So what are we making again? We are making meatballs, but we're going to be using frosted flakes as the breading. Okay. So let's cut this open. What do we got there? A pound of ground meat? Got a pound of, what? what is this? Uh, 90-10. 90-10. Mm. Ground beef. Okay. I also have this paper over here that I'm going to periodically get up and Spoil my dinner. That's what I'm doing off camera, everybody. I'm spoiling my dinner right now. You're just taste testing it. Mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm. got, got some salt, got some pepper. I'm not going to season it too much because, again, we're, we're not just eating straight up meatballs. We're eating it with a tomato sauce, so that should have the flavor. Got our favorite brown and blue eggs. Okay. So egg. Some ketchup. All right, let's use our, where is it? Do I have it? Frosted flakes. Oh, I have it. Bear the Barrier, welcome to the live stream. You haven't missed much. All So far, we've only made our Rice Krispie treats off to the side. So we are making, if you just joined us, we are making a three-course meal using cereal in each recipe. So right now, Mark is making meatballs. We don't have to crush them, huh? We're just adding them. Well, because like, well, oh, we're well, going to be crushed by them. My favorite cereal is Frosted Flakes, hands down. I might. Here, some taste tests. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, there's not there's nothing against the rule book where you can't make cereal treats using frosted flakes. That's like going to be extra decadent and extra sweet. Mm -hmm. That sounds good, actually. No. Yeah, our friend Kevin makes it with Captain Crunch sometimes. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh! I think he's even done it with Fruity Pebbles too. Okay, do you want to mix it for us? I sure will. I'm just going to add the rest. Is that okay? Yeah. And we got Marianne here. Hi, Marianne. And Laura saying howdy, y'all. Hey, Laura. Howdy. Welcome back. She brought a little bit of Texas back with her, Welcome. sounds like. Welcome back. Too bad we weren't in Texas with y'all. What? I don't like Does It, it kind of hurts, but it doesn't hurt. It just feels... Weird to crunch cereal in my hands. Now, again, it's going to probably be on the sweeter side because we're using a sweet cereal. But you know what? Who doesn't like a sweet meatball? I like mommy balls sweet. But I don't mind them when they're salty either. <laughs> It depends if you're a dessert or savory or sweet or savory person, you know, you know, you know what I mean, jelly bean. Okay, as James is mixing up our meatball mixture, we're going to be baking this in the oven. So I have again prepared. 
today is all about the baking sheets. It's all about the baking sheet. No, where are we? All about the base. About the base. Gosh, all of that um, cereal like disintegrated into nothing. Is already in there? Great. Pretty much. All right, so I have off my tomato sauce. I need more ketchup. Here's the mixture. And then onions. Okay. I got it. Got it. I got it, dude. <laughs> Keep on liking the video. Yeah, let's. I want to spin more wheels. Y'all don't want to see me rolling on the ground again, and knocking my head on the co the couch. That was actually taken off the list though, because it has nothing to do with today's stream. Uh, no, like, so rolling on the floor. No, none of that. <laughs> A lot of some cereal puns though. All right. I think I've incorporated enough. Uh, did you want to make the meatball? Sure. Um, do another glove? I'll do another glove. So, do you like, not a big meatball, but just like, you know. Can I get a little cyst? Like a, maybe a golf ball size? Golf ball, okay. Ping pong ball size, maybe? Which way is the thumb? I can't. This is the thumb. This way. Yeah. There we go. And we're using the gloves that our friends at Eco Glove sent to us. Yeah. Fits all shapes and sizes, even mine. <laughs> That's when you know it's a good product, right? Okay, let me move this so you can still read comments. Yeah, okay, so the barrier is on. Julie says, I should be their spokesperson along with, a can along with canned potatoes. Can potatoes, Ritz cracker, dry ramen Too noodles. big, right? A little small. Yeah, a little, just a little small, but that's good. Good. Um, How do these frosted flake balls look? <laughs> you know, just for timing, maybe mm. I should just have two. Huh? Oh, okay. That's that's the shape we're going for, I guess. I feel like I kind of smell the frosted flakes in the meatball, no? There is a sweet essence I'm getting from somewhere. It smells like maple syrup. Yes. Do you but smell did we that? Open it? No. Do you think it's the rice oh, crispy? Maybe it's the gloves. Oh, it is the gloves. Why? The, the gloves? <laughs> is this made out of maple syrup? It's, it's not... It is made out of non-plastic like plant-based plant material. Based material, yeah. yeah. Just in case, I don't oh know. my gosh, I didn't even know there was more room there. I don't even know how many meatballs this one pound makes, so let's just, um, I think you probably make 12 at least. 12 meatballs, okay. So you have plenty of room. I'm just going to plop them and then you can place them. That one's a little tiny. Cool. Maybe less than 12 of them. Bonnie's like 101 likes spin, but mama, look. I can't touch anything right now except for these meaty balls. But we'll do that in a second. Do you like our balls meaty? If you have enough, because this is kind of big. Uh, I could take a little. There we go. Noah's world, welcome. What's up, Noah? Okay, so if you want, I can. The ball's somewhat even. How many is this? Four, four, three. Oh, Eleven. Okay. Almost twelve. Move this guy down here. Is that good? Yeah. Okay, I'll pop this in the oven and then we're gonna make our tomato soup. Yeah, so Mark is gonna be making a tomato sauce with it. I don't know if it's quite a glaze, but it's in that same vein. Okay. I'm just 
Alexa. 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 Does she unplug from the cleaner? <coughs> oh, maybe. That might be useless. Yeah. She looked unplugged. She's unplugged. Okay. Some room over here. Okay, I need to spin the wheel. Wait, did we spin it once or twice? Because we're at 100 likes now. We did Wait. channel member giveaway and we did... I think that was it. We didn't do all... 75? No. So do we need to do two? Julie, what do we need to do? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Julie. Is one of the games on the spin wheel Chubby Bunny? Yes, it is, Mama. Oh, good. Spoiler guys. alert. Spoiler alert. Eddie says, what kind of cereal? So far, we use Frosted Flakes to make meatballs. We made Rice Krispie Treats. Mark is making a tomato sauce for the meatballs. And then we are going to be making Corn Flake chicken, tender. chicken Tenders. See? Oh, I show we are at 73 likes. Okay. Maybe we're talking about number of viewers then. So we're not even at the next like goal. Oh, can I spin the wheel yeah. yet? Who misinformed us? Bonnie, were you, were you mixing up viewers and likes? It's okay. We do that all the time, too. Oh, yeah. I see that we are at 75 now. So we're at 75. Oh, yes. Thank you for liking the video. So let's go ahead and... Actually, Mark's going to be adding some onions to the pan. And then we get this squared away. All right. All right, let's spin the wheel. Uh oh, what? Oh my gosh. Oh no. I was hoping it would land on the next vlog preview, but it just didn't have enough oom for it. So I'm sorry. Just got that just means you gotta like the video that much harder now. You know what, Julie? We need to cash in on all these nothing happens while you're here. It's no fun when you're not here and it lands on it. You yeah, know? people will be like, oh, Julie's not here to be mad. <laughs> uh, Nate says, I made it. Hey, James and Mark. Hi, welcome to the live stream. Yay, for, thanks for being here. And Bell says, hi, guys. Finally made it to the live after so long. Welcome again. Is there the role reversal on this wheel? Uh, not this week, because I was like, I don't want to do overkill, so... Probably next week it'll come back. But we have some other cereal-related stuff that y'all need to share this video, like this video. So right now, Mark is making a tomato sauce to go with our meatballs. So he's so far has added oil, some onions, and then it looks like he has a can of tomato sauce. Pretty simple. I'm sure you're going to add some additional herbs and spices throughout maybe something spicy even i know you oh my gosh yes that looks spicy this is uh capsation powder which we don't get to use frequently because mm -hmm. james is like put that away but i feel like because we're using frosted flakes in our meatball mixture that sometimes sweet goes really well with spicy and i'm yeah. not just talking about kochukaru spicy i'm not just talking about cayenne pepper spicy i'm talking about real spicy well and i admit every time we go on vacation when we come back i either i crave two things either asian food because we typically aren't going somewhere to eat asian food right? unless we're in asia yeah or something spicy yeah. so i don't mind the spice today actually barb thank you so much i really appreciate your creativity each live you know what? When, when we're on it, we're on it. Actually, we came up with this idea after we had dinner yesterday. We went to go get pho last night. Mm. And then on the ride home, we we're like, what should we do for live? And so I pulled up the phone and looked up, what's March 7th? Like, that's our usual starting point. Like, is there a national recognition day? And then it said cereal. And then we kind of had to sit on that for a bit because I'm like, well, we can't just come on live and eat, like, three bowls of cereal and call it a day. So then that, the idea evolved and then we realized, oh, well, maybe we can make a full on meal just using cereal as uh, our ingredient in a lot of the dishes. So Julia, your wish is our command. Mark is adding some garlic as we speak. He just went to go grab some. 
Ruby, welcome to the live stream. Happy belated birthday, James. Birthday twins, yes. Hope you had a great birthday. And Mark's birthday is in two days. Uh, we'll let you know when we do our birthday stream. We're actually going to do a birthday stream where I just want to get lit on here and pass out before the stream is like 7 o'clock. So keep a lookout for that. I don't even know. Like our schedule is kind of crazy. So even Friday is like up in the air. But again, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. So hopefully you get all the updates. And if you want an extra layer of notification, sign up to our Discord because our Discord also sends out a reminder if YouTube is like, not today, Mama. Then Discord will accept it and you know help out. Care Jade, that changes everything. We found out last week that I like garlic more than TJ. He thought that he was the garlic lover. Ain't got nothing on me. Ooh. How about raw garlic? How do you like how do you de how do you determine that? Like, I like garlic. No, I like garlic. Yeah. Okay, but like, let's see who likes garlic more. Mm. Like, how do you decide that? Oh, Sue, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. Several folks in the chat, Noah and Donna, wishing you a happy early birthday. Thank you all. Keith says, it's been a while since we had a Liddy stream. You know what, Mama? Like, I feel like it, we had it like There was last like a streak of like Liddy streams. Yeah. You know, it's Liddy when I start calling people out in the chat. I'm like, yeah. That's when you know it's Liddy. And the sirens. RKS Gamer, welcome to the live stream. Uh, Kara J says, because I ate all the raw garlic. That's how they knew that she was a lover of garlic. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that's, yeah. Kara J says, I never get YouTube notifications. I rely on Discord. Oh, no. Well, here's the other thing that you can do. I do it. I'm not saying you need to do it. But I just do a standing calendar invite six o'clock every monday and friday and then I, it reminds me 15 minutes right before. Mm. Yeah. tony says did i miss cocktails you did not because we didn't make any however in reflecting next time we do the theme it would be really cool if we came up with like a, a cereal cocktail wouldn't that be cool like doing something rimmed and then maybe like the cereal is like the rim or something or Sorry. um uh, cinnamon toast crunch <gasps> That would have been good. That would have been good. Today. That would have been a good integration. Yeah. Oh, see, we see, we need your guys' creativity. We needed to spend a little bit more time thinking this through. Uh, uh, cinnamon toast crunch drink, which is just basically rum chata and fireball. Yeah. Oh, relish. Okay. I love lady streams. They keep me laughing. <laughs> <laughs> We have a Lebanese restaurant in my neighborhood that makes a white paste dip that is only garlic and olive oil. That sounds delicious. Give me all of that. Okay, we are adding the capsule. Don't you need to wear like a mask or like gloves for this? We have Angelina in the house. Hi, Angelina. Okay, I'll do a spoonful and a half for that. And if we need to add more, we could always add more. A spoonful of capsaicin makes James Siren. James Siren. <laughs> James Siren. SJ was in the same school of thought. I was going to say that drink, Mark. Yeah. It's been a while since we've had the rum chata fireball. That sounds good. Um, soju with milk kiss is a combination. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that would be such a, because it's like milk. Oh, milk. Clever. Oh, Y'all are clever really today. So clever. What's this? Uh, Worcestershire sauce. Say that again? Worcestershire. Worcestershire. You said it right the first time. Worcestershire sauce. We are at 81 likes, y'all. Keep on liking the video. And then we can get to some more of the fun stuff so that, you know, nothing happens is out of the way. So we don't have to worry about that anymore, right? Now we just focus on the fun stuff. I'm going to go off to the side and eat some more Rice Krispie Treat. No, you're you're just making sure that it's okay to eat. Yeah, yeah. You're just testing. Let's go with that. You want a spoon, Mama? <laughs> I got a good one for you. Okay. I need your. I need a second opinion. It's edible. 
There you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. Still good. So Still far, edible. So far, so good. If you if it cooled down already, maybe uh, wrap it in saran wrap or something, so it stays fresh longer. What's up, Island? How are ya? Okay, let's see how the sauce is. Very, very, very straightforward stuff. Oh, there's definitely a kick to this. Ooh. Definitely a kick. I'm not adding any uh, pinch of sugar to this because I think that meatballs is going to be sweet enough. So there's no sugar in this too. Because some Very of you, smart. like Foxy Brown, and some of you have reminded us that when you make like marinara or a tomato based sauce, adding a pinch of sugar helps with the acidity. Acidity. Mm. Acidity. Mm -hmm. um, but since the meatball itself, I mean, we're going to guess this kind of. Let sweet. me do a taste test, Mama. Let's see if it passed the heat test for me. Oh, I thought you grabbed more capsaicin. I was like, I didn't even try. <laughs> It's spicy. Like good spicy, huh? It's good spicy, but it's like spicier than what I thought it would be. I, I'm hoping that this, I'm hoping that this will taste good with the frosted flake meatball. Yeah. Julia, that's a great question to ask everybody in the chat. What did you all have for dinner? It's spicy. It's like, okay, on a scale of one to ten, it's like a six or seven. I was expecting like a four. We didn't even eat, we didn't even add that much <clears throat> powder. It's like that. making my throat like tickle spice, if you know what that means. Oh, oh my gosh. Perfect timing. Tio, that's a great tip. Don't know if it works, but I believe you. I was told to put a carrot in the tomato sauce as it was cooking, then to remove it at the end. Makes the sauce less acidic. Oh, those balls are perfectly brown. Um, Colleen had meatball subs. RKS had pork meat and rice. TJ's making shrimp alfredo right now. And Bonnie and Miguel are having chicken piccata, homemade eggplant parmesan. Look at this. Look at look at these balls go into the cauldron of sauce. I I kind of like so you can't see it really well, but you can kind of see the frosted flake <laughs> bits. Bits in it. So it gives it this really cool looking color. Look at these. These balls are huge. Usually the balls shrink. These look like they got bigger. They're pretty big, huh? There must be some like reaction to the frosted flakes. Like it expanded it or something. Okay, so we're going to move on to the chicken, but I'm going to simmer this off to our stove top. Okay. Um, off to the side. And we'll just have it simmer. Right here. I don't need the soap grill anymore. Okay. Do you need to roll the balls in anything? Or are you good with? Yeah, I'm good. Out okay. I'm gonna roll it around and just let it be on simmer. How about now, though, Eddie? Because that's still my favorite cereal. Admittedly, though, we're not a cereal eating household. We just aren't. Even when we moved in here, I even bought like uh, containers just for cereal. And I'm like, why did I buy these? Because I was like, well, I feel like you need it for a house. Uh, Mark, can you say belly button? Belly button. Hmm. Why? Someone says, after the last video, I think Mark says belly button funny. No, I hate that. Sounds like, this sounds like how it's supposed to sound, right? Belly button. You say it again? A belly button. Yeah. Uh-oh. Say it one more time. <laughs> belly button. Huh. What? Now I'm not sure. The button part sounds weird now. Belly button. Oh, okay, that sounds good. <laughs> We're trying cauliflower noodles. We shall see how it turns out. I mean, you lost me at cauliflower. 
I mean, cauliflower is a okay. I think it's a decent substitute. Like I've made cauliflower puree, but then I also wonder, like, am I just adding way more butter than if I had just made mashed potatoes? I don't know. Oh my god, it's spicy. Yeah, that's it's what I told spicy. you. I think you have something in your hair. Oh, like is it marshmallow cream? No, turn this side. It is marshmallow cream. It's How not, did you? It's not white hair. Oh no, it's lint. I thought it was marshmallow cream. I was like, mama, I didn't get that there. I like Captain Crunch. I feel like we should find some Captain Crunch recipes. My everyone's dinner sounds so good. Okay. Pauline, crispy potatoes to go with salmon salad. Ooh. Crack two eggs in here for me. Two eggs in here. Ooh, I made a mess. It's okay. Well, I put that one. Once again, these eggs are so orange. I'll take half. There we go. Okay, so we're going to make our what do you call it? Like the wash part of the breading? Egg wash? Egg wash part, yeah. <laughs> what do you call the wash part? Egg wash? <laughs> You're funny. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, can you grab a, a, a small whisk? Because we probably need to whisk this together. <clears throat> Use this one today. Sure. All right, I'm whisking this. Yeah, and then, oh, sorry. I'm making you get up uh, in the cornflakes. Oh, and then I'll go ahead and do the cornflakes. Sure. Okay, a giant box of cornflake. You know what? I actually don't mind vanilla ice cream with cornflake topping. Say that one more time. Ice vanilla ice cream. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With corn, just flake. crunchy but not added sugar. It gives it that crunch in ice cream that it sounds really good. Ugh. What's the egg carton that we get? The the one with the really bright yolk. It's just happy egg, but happy egg, brown and blue. Um, eggs. Sorry, Sue, we already threw the eggshell away, but if you type that in Google, you'll see exactly the color. The carton is actually blue. The bear says, how do y'all know what National Food Day is? When we don't have an idea for what to do on a live stream, that's usually our first go-to. Um, we'll Google it. You just type in today, like the date and then national blank day, and then they'll pop up all the different things people celebrate on that date. So it's also flapjack, national flapjack day, but we decided to go with the cereal route instead. All right. So we got our egg wash here. Mark has the, the cornflakes. Actually, let me just try one. Yeah. There's like, there's something addicting about these. It is addicting. You don't feel as bad eating it like you would eating the Frosted Flakes, but. We're gonna mash this up. Should we sit on it? We should, oh. Here. Oh. Really, you're stressed today. Who's more stressed today, you or me? <laughs> And then I'll have you decide the the, uh, the size of the crumble. You can make it big, you can make it small, it's, mm. it's whatever you want. And then when you're done, you can pour it back into the pot. I will do that. I don't understand cornflakes as a cereal. They instantly go mushy. Yeah, that's true. 
Okay, so I think I'm gonna go with like this this size here. I don't want it to be like just crumbs, but I also want to give it some shape still. So I think I just need to crush the top part a little bit more. All right, I think we're good with that. You can roll a wine bottle over the cereal, yes. But I love using this cute mallet though. Boop, 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 boop. I should give Hedy a massage with this. I mean, at this point, Kellogg should sponsor us. We use three of their cereals. What's a non Kellogg cereal brand? Go. General Mills? Well, like, name the cereal. Chex. Mm. Is life General Mills? I think so. Yeah. Really? That's pretty much like Kellogg or <clears throat> General Mills, though. Island Candy is, is going vegetarian for Lent. Awesome. I did observe Lent for Ash Wednesday and Friday so far, but generally speaking, I don't observe it. But if I can eat seafood on Fridays, during Lent, I probably will, so. Ah, Post, I always forget about oh, Post. Oh, Post, yeah. Raisin Bran. I practice Fat Tuesday, but not Ash Wednesday. What does that mean? Like You do the indulgence, the, but then uh, you, don't start, you don't start with the sacrifice. I'm gonna change your name to Bear the Indulger. Okay, so Mark's adding some seasoning to our breading mix, which is just some smashed up cornflakes. So, so far he's added salt, pepper, all, uh, onion powder, and garlic powder. Some of that I might have sniffed up on accident. Oops. Just do a little bit more cup. No, no the no. sauce is spicy enough. No, yeah, I'm going to veto that quickly. Okay, okay, okay. We are at... Still a ways to go with our like goal. So please like this video if you have not yet. And we're going to end the poll. When it comes to cereal, 91% of you say you pour the cereal first, then the milk. 9% of you are cereal killers. <laughs> just kidding. I want to know from the 9%. I just want to know your perspective. I'm very fascinated. So if you are the 9% that says that you pour milk first, then cereal, I want to know yeah, your reasoning. Know. Yeah, let us know your reasoning. I want to learn. Thank you for participating in that poll. Isn't Post the one that makes Mark's favorite grape nuts black? <laughs> I think so. TJ thought Good Friday was only one time. He's not a fan, but supportive. Well, like, so Good Friday, there's only one Good Friday, but every Friday during Lent, you have to observe it by not eating meat. Yeah. Yes. I used to have to fast. Yeah. On Fasting is usually part of it, too. But this, she don't fast. Oh, my God. I forgot about Apple Jacks. Apple Jacks, you... Is good, yeah, right? Talking about cereals just making me nostalgic as f. Kashi, that's like, isn't that the fancy cereal? Oh yeah, honey bunch. Of, oh, I used to be at a honey bunch of oat phase. Oh, what your mouth? I thought you said like fan club or group. I was like waiting for you to finish your sentence. <laughs> okay, so we got our chicken tenders. I'm just gonna do a quick seasoning. Excellent. Well, the good thing is, is while the chicken's cooking, we probably could start on some appetizer, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Crunch toast crunch. That sounds good. Honey nut Cheerios. Milk first, then add cereal bit by bit because I love the crunch, can't stand soggy cereal. Well, Teresa, that makes sense if you have to eat it that way. Loanne, thank you so much for welcoming us back.
Cookie crisp. That was good. Wait. I really liked it. However, didn't that for me it really ripped up the top part of my mouth when oh. I was eating it. What, what were you gonna say? I was gonna say, why am I using the vampire accent oh, while I talk about cookie was crisp? The, there's a vampire cereal too. Count Dracula? Count Choc 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 chocolate guy, right? Yeah. But I start, yeah. I also get down with the Red Berry Special K. That sounds like an Urban Dictionary thing, k And Is that? it, were you trying to like lose weight? We were just talking about how Special K's marketing was all about like, lose weight in six weeks. Okay, James is doing more taste tests. I think I pretty much added everything that I brought on our little cart right here. So let's um I'm trying to lose weight too. <laughs> We're breading these now, yeah? Yeah. Honey smacks Cara Jade, right? I like the one with the bear or frog. Honey something. That must be honey smacks. Do they still make that? I hope so. Awalda says, hola chicos, love to see you guys back. Hi, welcome back. As well, welcome back to you all too. <laughs> okay, so you know, I'm trying to decide the best way to do this. I'm just gonna wear gloves and do it by hand. That works. Uh, we're not gonna dredge it in flour though. We're just gonna do straight up chicken to egg to cereal. Mm. Is that like an air fryer thing? Like you shouldn't have like just dry flour in the air fryer? I just feel like we're not making fried chicken and then the mm. the cornflake is technically like a fried flour, yeah. fried wheat part already. So you you don't really need, I guess you don't really need flour. Oh, I don't remember the name of the Honey Smacks mascot. I don't, oh, I don't know. What would be the name? Oh, it's frog? Honey frog? <laughs> Did they use a frog because frog's supposed to kiss the princess and smack is another word for kissing? I don't think so, but that kind of makes sense. But, oh no, we're going back to the conversation we had over the weekend about being hairless down there and you can still get something down there <laughs> how do we how do we take a left turn back to this topic y'all what happened <laughs> i leave for one second and do we have any volunteers to experiment one the control group and one the test group look at these these look good Can't wait to, Mark also made a honey mustard sauce. So yeah. we'll get to enjoy that with this. Barbara says, I think his, he was ribbit. Well, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, I think so, yeah. But these are chicken breast technically. But oh, okay. these, this is the tender cut. So they're pretty much a breast that's already pre-cut for you in smaller um sizes mm. so it's kind of like a chicken tender shape that you get at like raising canes or school lunches there are the berries blaming k move bringing up dingleberry special k yeah he did he did bring up the red berry and that, that just like <laughs> chunky funk welcome to the live stream hey my booze hey chunky We are, looks like we're only 13 likes away from hitting our 100 like goal, y'all. So there's 106 of you on. Let's hit I'm not that, a math major, but. Let's hit that like button so we can spin more wheel, which includes a lot of punishment and rewards. 
Okay. okay Mark is final piece. writing the final piece. Why don't I bring this over for you, and then I will move both of these. So here's the air fryer apparatus. Just gonna set it down here. Do you have to spray it at all? I'm gonna spray the chicken. Oh, there you go. Okay, so I'm gonna. Okay, I kind of want to double spray, so I'm gonna do the top layer, put it down, and then spray the top. Mm. Actually, I'm gonna do it this way so people can see through the see-through window. <laughs> Not that it'll make a huge difference. I was wrong. He's Diggum. There we go. Okay. Whoops. The frog name is Diggum? Yeah. How come I feel like that's like a... That seems like Simpsons a... Simpsons name or family, like a cartoon. Or Diggum seems like, I don't know, like a, a mole. Like something that actually digs. Mm, mm -hmm. Are we going to be able to fit? We might need to do two batches. Two batches. Well, we need to flip it, though. No, I'm not going to flip it. Who has time for flipping? <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's squeeze in. Hello, gold. Sounds like the Pokemon Diglett, right? It reminds me of that TLC song. Dig it on you, dig it on me, dig it on you, babe, babe, ooh, babe, baby. It's, it's, it's all like, like that. It's all like that. that. Gotta get love, something like that. I'm digging on you. What do we need? Like the cereal mixture again. Ooh, good thing I didn't dump it. There's some bald spots on the chicken, so just want to cover. Copy it here. You can take this one. I'll just take this one. Oh, why do I feel the way I do? Okay, how does this look? It's good. Okay, thank you. Another spray on top, y'all. We gotta get it nice and crispy. Oh yeah, someone mentioned Lucky Charms. I totally do not like Lucky Charms. <laughs> it's not one of my favorite cereals. I don't mind it actually. The, the marshmallow is my favorite part. Well, then you're like Allison. I would eat the Lucky Charms, but not the cereal. What is the cereal? Oh. Yeah, what's the shape of the other cereal? I don't even know. It's just filler. Fruit Loops leave a weird coating in my mouth after eating it. I haven't had Fruit Loops in a long time either. The fruit cereals are not my favorite. So I'll actually eat Fruity Pebbles on like, I like Fruity Pebbles on Froyo, frozen yogurt. But outside of that, I don't really care for it anywhere else. Okay, I'm just gonna clean up a little bit. A little tidy up a little bit, tidy okay. Up a little bit. Julie says, don't be dirty, James. Okay, that's like, I don't know, that's like me telling you not to be dirty, Julie. Do they not have Froyo in Portland, Eddie? He says, OMG, I miss Froyo. Should we open a franchise? Should we call it K Mooger? <laughs> you know, instead of yogurt. Ew! I'm not. No, we are not using his milk to make the Mooger. We might need to rethink the name. That's not very marketable. Would you eat something called Mooger? Mooger. I only buy Chex Mix to make Chex Mix Trail Mix, never to eat as cereal. Yeah, I don't know anyone that eats Chex Mix as, like, breakfast cereal. Oh, I just haven't gone out of my way to get it. It's still here. Okay. I thought there was, like, none there. Are you kidding me? 
Eddie used to be store manager of a Froyo store what? in Seattle. Really? Who would have thought? Time for the Velveeta cheese. There's three pouches. In oh, the there's more than one. How do we heat this up? I'm like so oh not even aware of how this works. It says to microwave transfer sauce to a microwavable bowl and high up to 30 seconds. Oh, that's quick. That's quick. That's quick. Do we have a bowl for this or do you need me to grab one? I'll grab it. Okay. Bear the Bear says you can milk anything with nipples. Is that a quote from you? Anything with nipples? Really? How hard would you have to squeeze if they don't produce milk? You can't tell me if I squeeze his nipples hard enough, milk will come out. I. This might be TMI, but I actually did read that um, with enough like suction mm. that even guys could produce like um, lactations so, oh, yeah, ability yeah. capability. <laughs> Well, I think my bio teacher mentioned like one of his buddies, not him specifically, but they got like got smacked in the chest and then his shirt got a little wet. Is that from possible? blood? I oh, know from lactating. Oh, what? He must have been filled with milk. <laughs> Waiting for the meatballs. Will they be sweet? Stay tuned to find out. Julie says, Karen, I want to see a manager. Eddie says, listen, Karen. I could totally hear that. Oh, it's out of business now, though. Did you oh. did you drive it down to the ground? Oh. Eddie, I wouldn't have said that. Or he might say, oh, they went out of business because I quit. You know, oh, I see. Not there no, I don't think yeah. He was probably caught trying to lactate into the yogurt mix. Jamie is here. Hi, Jamie. What's up, Jamie? So we didn't, did we find out where, I know Jamie relocated three oh. hour time difference, but I don't know where exactly, Florida, if you don't mind sharing what state. Uh, Eddie says the biggest Karen was actually an employee who didn't show up on her last day and made me dinner with my parents who were visiting to work the store. Wait. Aww. Wait, made me dinner? Wait, how is that a Karen thing? Did I read that right? Made me leave. Ah. That sucks. All right, we are at 91 likes slowly but surely. I'll get, I think we'll get to at least 100 today, but let me just give you a sneak preview of what y'all missing out on. We have, well, we have the band word game. We have text a friend, which you guys saw last time. Subscriber giveaway. Chubby Bunny. I think you all would like to see that. We have a serial related game and a serial killer game. And this other one is covered, so I don't know what, what this one is. So keep liking the video, y'all. Lainey says, hey, hey, nice to see you too. Did you end up going to the Pearl? We did not go to the Pearl, no. But thank you for the recommendations. I'm sure uh, if we're ever in the area next time, we would love to check it out. There was a cereal named Boo. There's a cereal called Booberry. Is it a ghost um, themed cereal? Now, are we adding that secret ingredient on top? 
This should be part of our merch. Everyone can see your elbow right now, Mama. Tap that parse. Tap that parse. Go on, cheese. How long uh, are we putting the chicken tenders in? Okay, so we get to enjoy appetizer first. We're calling these. All right, let's do a little naming competition. We added frosted flakes to these meatballs and they're very spicy. So start naming some ways you would name this dish. If Mark opened up a restaurant, what would we call these meatballs? Oh, it's so pretty. She's so pretty. Look at her. Isn't she lovely? Make it snow. What's that one song that you like? Make it rain, make it, mm -hmm. make it, make it yeah, rain. Yeah, by Rainy Man. Frosted Flake Meatballs. What do we call these? Merch that says, okay, mama. I guess I've been saying that a lot more recently. <laughs> uh, brewery here makes beer called Booberry Muffin and they use Booberry cereal. Ooh, that sounds good. Is the beer good? That actually made my mouth water just right now. There's actually a cereal on Amazon called Poop Like a Champion. What? Okay, so far we have suggestions for spicy frosted balls, spicy frosty balls, hot frosty balls, hot frosty balls. I'm seeing a trend here. You know, I kind of like the juxtaposition of it being spicy hot with frosty. I, I see where y'all going with it. It's pretty good, only available during Halloween though. What do you, what name do you like better? Spicy frosty balls or hot frosty balls? Spicy frosty balls. Okay, we're gonna go with that. So Barb and Foxy Brown Babe, thanks for that idea. I'm gonna call these spicy frosty balls. It's probably better than calling it like tiger balls, right? Or Tony's balls. <laughs> Something smells so good. I think it's the chicken. You think so? Or so it's the feta cheese. Ooh. So this is how parents get their kids to eat broccoli. That's how I thought it was supposed to be eaten only. Oh, oh, I can get that. What are we drinking actually? We don't have anything in mind. Beer or <laughs> beer water? or Coke? Juice, Capri Sun. I was gonna bust out the Capri Sun if I needed to take a chase, but nothing's happened. So oh, I'm we, we're not drinking yet. Yeah. I'm just gonna eat first and then decide later. Okay. Tony says no for Tony's balls. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, Tony. <laughs> oh, and it's kind of cute though because the name appears as Tony B. Ah! <laughs> Tony B. Tony B. We'll Tony it, balls. We'll call it Tony B's. Ah! <laughs> That's too funny. All right, well, let's let's dig into these spicy frosty balls, okay? Okay. Okay, cooked beautifully. Oh yeah, it's not. It feels juicy still. Yeah, look. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Oh yeah, I mean it's not overly sweet at all. Mm -mm. No, but there is a sweetness to the to it. Yeah, kind of tastes like um. Ooh, the heat, guys! Oh, it's, it's because of the sweetness from the balls. It doesn't taste as spicy as earlier when we when just, you just had, ate the sauce. when you just yeah. ate the sauce, and maybe because of the sauce, 
I'm sure the meatball doesn't taste that sweet. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. It's really good. It's really good. There's a good sweetness to it. This is delicious. Mm. Oh my god, I might need something to drink because it's like ah. Oh, we got a super chat. Woo! From TJ, apparently, who doesn't like garlic as much as Carry Jade. I work for Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Have a good night, guys. How did the shrimp fettuccine Alfredo turn out? Oh, yeah. You have to know before you go, but yeah. let's see to you. TJ, TJ, TJ thank, thank you. you. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's spicy, though. Good spicy still, but Good spicy. spicy, yeah. Like the, I know it's spicy because it's not a one and done. Like the heat is lingering on my tongue. It's not like. Did that rhyme? It's not like that. It's not like horribly. It's not a spicy challenge. No, not at all. Mmm. You know, I always wonder if TJ, the J part, is an uh, honor to recognize Kerry Jade. <laughs> we don't know. Can I dig into another one? Yeah. This appetizer hour, right? We're eating this with the chicken, right? Yeah. So this is our honey mustard sauce that we literally just made two minutes before we went on live. Just a really quick Dijon mustard, mayo, honey, and we added some gochugaru mm. green chili. Flavor. Dan, welcome to the live stream. Happy Monday, guys. Yeah, Cinnamon Toast Crush is one of the best. Yes. Speaking of which, I read an article. I don't know how dated it was, but um, they listed the best-selling cereal. What do you think number one was? Rice Krispie. No. Rice Krispie was, like, not even in the top ten. Oh. I thought because people also make Rice Krispie treats besides just eating it as a cereal. Well, I feel like people don't really eat it as a cereal at all. I actually thought it was cute because... I would listen to it. Mm -hmm. Crackle, pop, and snap. Snap, crackle, pop. <laughs> Does it have it? It's random order when they make the sound. I'm sure. No, but that's not the way that they teach you. I'm sure. Don't change I'm it. I'm sure that the cereal is not going in that order per se. You know. All right, Dan and Julie. You're on the right track, but specifically, it's Honey Nut Cheerios that is number one that I read. Cheerios is like number four. They they counted those as two separate cereals. Is it because it's heart healthy? Like people, I don't know. It is. It does seem like a very like if you think about it. Whenever you go to like the hotel continental breakfast and they have a cereal, one of them is always Honey Nut Cheerios as like a standard. What's life cereal again? What kind of cereal is it? Oh, I don't know. Isn't is it, it like a Chex? square? Is it a oh. square thing? Is oh, it yeah. Like it might Chex? be a Chex mix mm. Uh, That's awesome. TJ says it turned out pretty good. Couldn't even tell the difference in the noodle. Oh, right, because they use cauliflower yeah. noodles. That's good. I hope you smothered it in the Alfredo sauce. That's my favorite way to cover up things. That I'm like, hmm. Oh, the meatball's good, guys. The frosted flake gives it enough sweetness to it. It's not like it's definitely it's in there salty. though. It's not, yeah, it's not a salty meatball, but it's not a dessert meatball either. Mm. Mm. Okay, chicken is done. Chicken is done. Moment of truth, y'all. Chex is only good when it's in the form of muddy buddies. Okay, it's I agree. A little brown, but that's okay because that means it's and we are, uh, while market's not situated, we are at 101 likes. So let's go ahead and spin that wheel. Woo, it's spicy, y'all. Okay, ready? Let's spin the wheel. We are going to play a game called Serial Memory. Uh-oh, okay. So we'll get that situated as soon as... Let's get the plating done. Then we'll do the serial whatever, and then we'll tell you how it works. Woo! Why does everything Kemu say sound dirty? 
It's just coincidence. It truly is. Look at this. This is like a complete meal. I feel like if I were a kid and like this seems like a, a meal that's very kid friendly. You got your meatballs with the cereal. You got your breaded chicken. You got your broccoli with cheese, honey mustard. Very. Just give me my Capri Sun and I'll be like, I'll do all my chores for the week. Very kid friendly. Yeah. If I was a kid, I'll be excited to eat dinner. You know? Yeah. Ooh. And I should take a picture of this. It's so fun getting to be creative with you. We could have just made pancakes and just called it a day, but no, we had to make a three course dinner using cereal tonight. Kids shouldn't have Tony spice ball. Yeah, I would limit, I would limit the amount of spice. Though if we ever had a kid, I would hope that they could eat spicy. Oh, um, if they're allergic, I'm gonna probably force me to spice. Okay, we are now, if they see this video, we're never going to get kids now. I just like, I Don't want them to enjoy spicy food, but not only that, it's like, then we would have to cook two times, you know? Meh, 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 meh. All right, I mean. Let's take a first bite before we do the game, because I want to no, make sure. Let's, oh, what game? The oh. chicken might still be hot. Oh, okay, then let's play the game first. So, we're going to come up with a... This is called serial memory, okay? The way it's going to work is we're going to come up with a number. You guys are just going to start shouting out numbers in the chat. And we're going to write down a 16-digit number. And then by the end of the stream, we have to guess as many numbers in the order that it belongs in the sequence. So it's just whoever, like a memory game. Yeah, and whoever is closer, basically, yeah, whoever is closer uh, wins, the and then the other person has to take a shot. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and start saying out numbers. I'm gonna write it down on this paper, and then we're gonna get like a minute or so to study oh, it. People tell the number. Just random numbers shouldn't, so that I can populate. Shouldn't we just pull up a random number? Because well, how do you pull up it. a ra how do I pull up a random sixteen digit number? Just type in random sixteen digit number. And then we I'm just trying to make it interactive. Well, here's the thing, because when people say we're like, okay, we're gonna help, it's gonna help us mem remember. But it's 16 digits. How are we gonna okay, remember? Okay, okay. That's okay. Let's see if I can find a website. 16 random number generator. 16 digit. Okay. Uh, I'm going to just paste it into the chat and y'all can just, but we need to study it and we get how much? How many, how much? Yeah. Uh, a minute. Okay. Oh my God. How are you going to do this? <laughs> Oh my God, how are we gonna do this? You have a strategy? No. You guys can all play along at home too, just don't cheat. It has been a minute? Okay, I think so. Ready? Okay. What are you doing? I need a pen. Why are we writing it down? No, we have to do it at the end of the stream. That's why you, <laughs> you don't do it right away. That's why I think you're oh, confused by the, no. like seeing it instantly. Don't look at it anymore. Okay, but, okay, okay. Like, that's okay. why it's not instant. It's like okay, you have okay, to remember okay. it. 
Uh oh, now I don't. But remember. what if I want to shot earlier than end of the night? So should we just say like at eight o'clock we'll do it, or okay, seven fifty-five or something like like eight o'clock's fine. Eight o'clock, okay. Yeah. I feel like all we're doing is thinking about the number. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think I don't remember already. I don't know who has a... Like, it's interesting because with memory... There's certain things that I feel like we're good at memorizing more than the other person. But if I, if it came down to like a long digit number, I don't know who I would put more trust in, actually. I know. I don't know either. Okay. The Velveeta cheese is, is what it is. It's just <laughs> kind of like nacho cheese on broccoli. Boom. <laughs> All right. Let's try our chicken tenders mm. with our honey mustard. Mmm. Oh, good. It tastes like a crunchy chicken. It tastes healthy, actually. Does it taste healthy to you? It tastes indulgent to me, but I don't because mind either it way. It's healthy because there's no flour dredging on here, too. But it's still really crunchy. Mm. Honey mustard is really good, too. I see something red in there. More spice? Gochugaru. <laughs> Chongyang gochugaru. Mm. Habiba says, Hi, James and Mark. I love you guys. Thank you so much. You mm -hmm. This reminds me why. Maybe like a dinner I would have had when I went over to like a white friend's house mm -hmm. when I was in elementary school. Right? Mm -hmm. Woo. This meal gives serious Applebee vibes. Hey. Is that a read or not? Hey, some people love Applebee's. And when we went, we were surprising. We were surprised that it wasn't bad. It was good. It was better than ex expect, ex um, expected for sure. I don't know how I feel about the cheese, though. Is it too much? Is it too artificial tasting? Is that? I don't know. Mm. It doesn't even seem like a air fryer thing. Did it feel like we pan fried it? Yeah. You remember the number? I kind of want to just do it and get over with. I still remember it, but I'm slowly losing it if we keep. I think I remember it too. Oh my God. See, that's why I was going to, it's harder because if you leave it at the end, that's the whole point. So you don't remember it because we retained it right now, but. And stick around. We have our Rice Krispie treats still to eat. And I apologize, our next light goal is actually 125, but I forgot to make the icon for it. So when we get to 125, let me know, but I'm gonna change to 150 for now. All right. I just says, I remember the first 12. That's good. Yeah, I think this spicy sauce might be good on the broccoli. Mm. Did we eat all the meatballs or there's still left? Mm -hmm. Oh. 
I think this might have been six minutes ago. So we have five left. Mm -hmm. At least we're eating our vegetables. Well, Allison, I've heard of that. Um, using potato chips as like a crispy batter thing. You could be creative with, with um, chips like Cheetos, Doritos. Oh, this is just these kettle chips. Yeah, that would be mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. TJ, we actually were going to make macaroni and cheese, but we scaled it back a little bit. Like the, in some kind where you just add water mm -hmm. and microwave it. I'm full. I think I'm eating fast. We should, um, should we cook the next? I mean, we, I think we only have one we small We just have piece one, but we should cook it so we don't waste it. Okay. But I will eat it. We'll eat it. After the stream's over. Mm. It's crazy. We have used cereal and everything today. How's the um, honey mustard? That was good. Tastes like a honey mustard. Yeah. Actually, the kochikaru gives it that hint of, you know how some mustard has that little hint of spice? It gives it that effect. Use dry ramen noodles as a breading. Mm. I don't think I've done that with the... No. Ooh. But that could work too, I guess. Um, and the seasoning packet with the noodles for the... Instead of adding like their own, you know, onion powder and salt and stuff. You're right. I'm in full. Just save enough room for a small piece of Rice Krispie Treat. Oh, for her, I'm going to okay. have enough room for the Rice Krispie Treat. Okay, okay. Is this your piece? You can have it. Oh. <laughs> oh, damn. It's really simple, mm -hmm. right? Oh, that breading is good. We're both trying to concentrate on our memory right now. No, I, I, was, like. I forgot about it until you just said it right now. I need y'all to distract James. Throw shade at him and he's going to be like, oh, mama this. And then he's going to forget about the 16 digit number. You remember it still? I think so. Like, I don't want to say yes because I could be wrong. You know, I could be thinking the wrong number. I really do want to just do it now, but. So if we both get it, then, then, no, one, safe, then yeah. no one loses. Then we don't, then we just have to. But we're basing it off of the number and the placement. Yeah, right. They have so, gone right order. Is that what you mean by placement? Placement, as in like, you can earn up to sixteen points. As in like, if you get the right number in the right place, that's a point. Okay, that's what I mean. Okay. So but if I can't just say like, and like if the second number is like a number that's not right, then you don't get a point for it. But everything else is, then you okay. would get fifteen points. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Don't read Mike's comment. Oh my god, Mike. I was like, what yeah. is that? Oh my gosh. I know. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to trick us. I I'm trying not to think of other numbers because I'm very set on what the number is. I have, I want to know your strategy afterwards. I'm very curious if we. I don't know if I have like a strategy that I could put a name to it. I just try to memorize it. Hmm. That's the strategy. <laughs> All right. 
let's clear this out and I'm gonna get us our Rice Krispie. Okay. And I think by the time we finish that, are we supposed to cook this now then or are we gonna cook it after? Oh, it's just cooking now because, um, If you want to spray the top a little bit. I don't know if I flipped it. <laughs> it's, way, a, so. it's okay. Or just cook it. It's fine. Yeah. I think the oil helps just a little bit to kind of crisp it up a little bit, but you don't need it. What am I doing? Um, I did it for 15 minutes. I think because that's such a small piece and it's mm -hmm. cooking by itself. Do... 11? 400? 411. Don't say numbers right now. 400 at 11 minutes. 400 degree salt, salt, Fahrenheit. Yeah, you're just doing it on purpose. No, I'm telling you how to do it. Okay, James is bringing out the Rice Krispie treats. I think Rice Krispie Treat crumbles would be good with vanilla ice cream. Or even Froyo. Why don't they do that? Huh? I think it would be really good with frozen yogurt, actually. Didn't Rice Krispie cereal also have like a chocolate version? Do you uh, remember that? Yeah. They, yeah, for sure they have a chocolate version. I just see in the corner, James pulling in like the marshmallows, extra like melted string cheese, you know, the Korean uh, uh, corn dog when the cheese just stretches. I just saw that in the corner of my eye. <laughs> Try to reshape it. <laughs> Anyways. My hand's sticky. Anyways. Do All right. In cheese? We have the Velveeta cheese though. All right, who here likes carbonated water? I, um, growing up, soda was good. Like, I like the sweet stuff, like the normal soda, like Sprite, um, Fanta, Crush. Like, all those were really good, cream soda. But uh, over the years, I think sometime in college, I was like, oh, I don't want to drink as much sugar. So I got into diet soda. And then I did that for a while. And then because of the diet soda, I couldn't go back to normal soda because then I thought it was way too sweet. But when Coke Zero came out, I was like, oh, this makes me feel like drinking non-diet drinks. So I was like, okay, I don't taste the thick sugar, like, diet taste. Um, so I did the Zero stuff lately. But then, like, I don't know. It doesn't really bring me too much joy either. So since then, been really into carbonated water. I did the LaCroix stuff, spin drift, bubbly, all that. But at the end of the day, for me... Just the ones that are the ones that are uh, not the OG, but not the newer like Lacroix. The ones that were made because it became trendy. Perrier, Pellegrino, Topo Chico. Those are my favorite. Uh, can you get me the parsley? Just kidding. I did end up adding a little bit of sprinkles for a little color because these were like pale, very pale Rice Krispie treats. So I know you can't really get a good shot of it, but this is two pieces, apparently. Let me take a picture of this to wrap up our three course cereal stream. Excellent. Excellent. Right, so we can enjoy this after you. Is which piece is mine? 
Doesn't they're matter. the same. Yeah. Okay. I, or they're supposed to be the same. Maybe I should get another small plate, huh? This is it. Okay. Sure. See, this is what I was seeing. Like, it looks they're like they're extra sticky. Mmm. I don't like it when there's more marshmallow than cereal, actually. Oh, yeah? Uh huh. 100%. Sometimes, if you don't add enough marshmallow, then it's like hard and dry. Mm -hmm. Just you don't even need to add milk. So instead of cheese pull, marshmallow pull? I wonder if the savory version of Rice Krispie Treat would be instead of using marshmallow, you use mozzarella cheese, and then you mix it, and then you eat it. Interesting. Should we try that? Is that a new invention, new recipe invention? Mm. There's actually chunks of marshmallow in here. It's so good. It doesn't taste stale, right? Mm -mm. It, I mean, that, that's the second thing about Rice Krispie Treats is like, the next day is still good, but usually the day after it becomes like stale and hard. Elda, I, um, she might be talking about the carbonated water. Like you just need to go to the the OG brands, you know, mm. Perrier, Topo Chico. And then Allison says, Poppy and Olipop are good sodas. They have apple cider vinegar, so they're prebiotic. Girl, I need all the pre, post, probiotics in my system. <laughs> I, as a kid, I would probably could eat this the whole tray by myself. That's how much I love Rice Krispie Treat when I was a kid. I used to make Rice Krispie Treats for my grandma. Mm. Remember? Oh, she would have loved this one. Wow. They're kind of fun to eat because they're stretchy. So this is basically the same concept as like those dessert popcorn, milk marshmallow. Like, is it kind of similar to that? Mm -hmm. Is it? I think so. Elda saying she is agreeing with you about more marshmallow than rice krispies. Uh, That's what. Oh, I see. James is so happy. Yeah, I have a rice krispie forever. Excuse my mouth. When you two are eating all these dishes, you need probiotics. Not me, Mama. If I took probiotics, I might poop out an organ. I'm not even kidding. I feel, okay. Maybe TMI. I don't get grossed out when I'm eating, when I'm talking about, you know, quote, unquote, TMI type of topic. But some people are really sensitive when they're eating and they don't want to hear this stuff. But I do, and I'm not even joking. Uh, there's this one company who product is supposed to be the best form of digestion or probiotics for your system mm -hmm. by using actual healthy humans gut bacteria in the pill interesting poop bacteria basically so i feel like we could make some side money if you donate your um self <laughs> i feel i mean it's like naturally producing so it's like you know some countries that have like natural oil on their land and they just become a wealthy country you're they're utilizing their natural resources i feel like this is you know free natural resources that we own might as well make some pretty penny off of it I wouldn't even know what to say to the potential investors of this idea. You know there's a market for everything. Well, there is, yeah. Okay. Then my last bite, and then I think we're going to yeah, do our do number game. 
Uh, I'll do that. I'm going to wash my hands. Okay. Julie, no. I want James to eat sugar free Haribo gummy bears. I read the reviews of those one night, they were hilarious. Good night, Bonnie. Wow, that is not where I thought Mark was going, right? It's never where you think it's going to go. It's like you can kind of predict it, and then when he ends up saying what it is, it's like, whoa. Whoa. <clears throat> whoa. Where's All right. That, where's that from? Uh, Blossom. Mm. Joey from Blossom. So if you just joined us, we are doing a challenge right now. Earlier in the stream, we pulled up a 16-digit number at random. And we were tasked to memorize as many digits in it as possible within a minute. And we're going to play a game now. And the person that is not as close to the actual number will um, have to take a shot. Okay. It's really simple. So. I'm pretty confident in it. Me too. You're confident? I'm confident. Uh-oh. I, you know, some people, I don't, I don't do this. I don't think James does this either, but sometimes when you don't even know, but you act all confident, you inst like instill this intimidation, like fear oh. to your opponent for them to be even more nervous before the match. Is that what you're trying to do to me? No. Okay. Eddie, I know you said you remember the first 12. So anyone that was playing along, feel free to play along. We're going to do this until we're done. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Go. Yep. Okay. Oh no, I'm, I don't actually don't know if it's even the right number. I had to count how many digits there were. So should we just, do we need to pull up the number to compare or like what should we do? Or let's, should we just let's show? Let's show our number first and then okay. pull up the number as well. Okay. Okay, ready? Ready. Set, go. So three five seven three three one zero four one nine nine. Two six five four three. We wrote the same number. That we means, remembered it. The same. I mean, that means it doesn't matter. Wait, so Elda, thank you, Elda, for. Oh, there we go. That was a number. Did we get it right? Three five seven three three one zero four one nine nine two six five four three. Oh my God! So we both got it. That's insane. First of all, let's acknowledge that. Like, because I thought we might not do it, but I had a strategy. I don't know if you had a strategy. Did you have a strategy? Walk me through how you remember the number. Because I had a I had a process, and I was like, it made it easier for me to remember it. Okay. Okay. Well, for me, the first three number, I just I just did. Okay. I just I just want to know the first three. Three five seven. Three okay. five seven. Three five seven. No other logic, but I just wanted to know those three, and I clustered those two together. Yeah. The next two, thirty three, is so easy for me to remember because it's, just, it's the same number. Okay. So I was like, as long as I remember the first three, then the next one is just simply thirty three. So that's two more digits. Uh huh. One oh four. Um. Uh, it kind of sounds like a radio station down here. So I was like, okay, so it's like 104 point, you know, 104. So that's not that hard. I just needed to go over the 104 hurdle and then 199. I knew that was easy because I did 911, but opposite numbers. Like well, that's not okay. Yeah. Like emergency, like 911, okay. but 199. Okay. okay. And then I don't know, 2654. No other logic, but just to remember in those four numbers. And then three, I kept that separate. I was like, I, I it's easy to remember what the last digit of any number is. So I didn't even want to include this at all. And oh, just okay. at the very end, I just knew the last number is always going to be three. Yeah. Oh. So that's how I clustered it. 357 was one cluster. 33 was one cluster. 104 was one cluster. 199 was another cluster. 2654 was a cluster. And then three by itself was a cluster. Interesting. What was your logic? Okay. It's totally different than uh, Eddie says, I cannot relate to any bit of Mark's reasoning. Fascinating. <laughs> Elvis says, I memorized it in three groups. 
Let us know what those three groups were. And Bear the Bear says, this is the most random nonsense explanation I've heard. <laughs> it makes sense in my and yeah, no. Head. So that's what, this is, this is actually a very unexpected, fascinating activity. Okay, so I was a little self-centered, right? Oh, 35, wow. my birthday. I was like, hey, my birthday, okay. 35. Okay. And then after that, I was like, okay, the next odd digit is seven. So oh, three, three, five, five seven. seven. Oh, I was like, oh, three, five, seven. And then 33 is just 33. That's how I remember it. Yeah. The 104, 199, I was like, crap, how am I going to remember that? And I was just thinking it's a number between um, 100 and 200, but on both ends of the spectrum. So I was like, 104 is close to 100, and 199 is close to 200. So I was like, 104, 199. The 26543, I just noticed that 6543 is in descending order. Oh my god! So I didn't even realize. Yeah, that. I know. That's why I was like, "You're just remembering twenty six fifty four, and then add a three at the end." But then I was like, "Well, six five four three is the last four digits, but I just remember it starts off with two, so it's not six five four three two. It's two, and then you go down in numerical order. So I don't know if you noticed, but I forgot that the three was at the end. I completely didn't remember, but I counted fifteen digits, and I was like, "Well, I know this is in descending order, so it has to end in three. So isn't that crazy? Like we totally, rem we had a, we found different ways to remember the same number. No, I did. Totally That's so weird because the way how I clustered one nine nine and th the last number three, the twenty six fifty four. I didn't even realize those. No, I know. But Mama, when you started saying it's nine one one, but backwards, I was like, okay, we're totally thinking about it differently. Yeah. But we got to the same thing, which is more proof that it doesn't There's matter. There's no one way. To There's do no one things. way to do things, but you know. Make it happen for you, you know. So Elda did groups of three numbers: three oh, five okay. seven, three three one, zero four one, nine nine two six. See, See, I wouldn't remember I, that. I wouldn't have that. Wouldn't have worked for me because that's a you, lot of different numbers to remember. You're not right? adding any other logic to help you remember. So three five seven, yeah, that's the first three. That's you know, three five seven makes sense. But they're three all three odd one numbers. is like okay. How am I gonna remember three three one? How am I gonna remember you know zero four one and then. 992 like i don't know there's so many cluster of threes to remember so then i guess i divided it into about two three different sections and two i did three two three three four one that was my cluster yeah i did three five seven three three and then 104 199 was the range and then two six five four three was so. the descending yeah okay the elderly playing a memory game to help keep their memory strong. Redland! Oh! oh my gosh! That was a read. The read of all reads. Mark's handwriting is very Korean. Everyone wants to see our penmanship real quick. Oh, mine's very... No? Mine's we, not... We have unique. a very... We have a unique styling of fonts. So... Uh, that means our memory's yeah, so good. Yeah. Good job. That was insane. We should do 50 numbers. Digit I, I would not do 50 numbers. That would be too much. At that point, I'll just put random numbers in random places. Honestly, I just no, honestly what I was going to do, if I couldn't remember it, was just write the same number, all 16, and just hope that I get more points than you. But as soon as you were like, I remember it, I'm like, oh, crap. Like, I actually have to... Like, you... I don't think I would have done this well if I didn't have a competitiveness. Oh, like you made me remember it because I didn't want to lose. <laughs> and I also didn't want to take a shot really. Uh, yeah, Mark writes in a very Korean way. How so? What is it? About no, so this is my way of not being Korean. I actually, here, this is how I would normally, but some people complain that I can't read my number. Well, your seven is a little sus. So yeah, I, I, I do my seven not the way that I normally do. My seven looks like, what? what is that to you? Nine. That's a seven. That's not my seven. Yeah. Oh. So this is the bottom part is how I normally would write my numbers. That's not discernible. But then, what's that? Two five or two six? Oh, two six. Why you make it harder on the people that have to read the numbers? Look how clear oh. mine is. Mine is really clear. It's like, is that a three? Yes, for sure. There's no. It also looks like, you know, a really studious kindergarten learning numbers for the first time. And they like really get it in those, you know, the three line, um, the top, bottom, the middle one is always dash. Yeah. yeah because yeah. you're supposed to like, you know, follow the, the line mark. So your three has to be right in the center and then you have to round it out. 
<laughs> What's wrong with that? No, there's nothing wrong with it, but that's what it reminds me of. The Ooh, five. Sharpie fumes are getting to me. Here, the yeah, top one, how perfect the top one is how James writes. <laughs> Anyways, that's enough. About the that. real challenge will be we walk away from this completely, and then next Monday we have oh to do it. Oh my gosh! For okay. a shot, okay, no studying then. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, like you can't look at the number, but you no. could sit in the living room and think about it, right? Okay. Yes. Then we're just gonna think about it all week. I'm not. There's other things to you know take priority, right? Anyways, I think we had a very successful. Um, Monday Night Live. Actually, I think we're really close. I'm going to I'm gonna strike a bargain with you all. We get to 120 likes. I would love to share the preview of okay. the video. So all we need is two more likes. We're going to be greedy, at least seven likes, but two. Just two more likes, and we can play our uh, preview. That'll be our outro for the evening. Okay. So if y'all can rally around and get two more. Two more likes. <gasps> oh, my God. Do you remember this? We're the barrier. Sampu oh, what number oh. is that? Nine. We had. Didn't you have like a like? It's hair, so it's this number. Shampoo. No, you did that. You like shampoo, shampoo. What's shampoo? I don't know. Oh, I forgot that number. That's I. I love it, Linda. Thank you so much. We do not remember how to count to ten in Tagalog. No. Is there an ita? Mm, there's an ita. There's a. Shampoo. <laughs> Other than that, oh my gosh. She, see, not she. <laughs> your memory. Hold on to your memory, y'all. 10 is shampoo. Oh, 10 is something. Because you want to be a 10 out of 10. Okay, mm. good. It worked. We're at 126 likes. Okay. Y'all holding out on likes tonight. It's okay. All right. We love you all. Uh, make sure you thumbs up this video. Check out one of our other videos. And um, uh, also subscribe so that you know if we're going to go on live on Friday or not because we're up in the air on Friday. But if we are, we'll let you all know. Have a great rest of your week. Watch and the preview. Enjoy the preview. Bye, everyone. Hey, everyone. James and Mark here. Today, we are doing another travel vlog. This time, we are heading to Monterey, which is about six hours from where we live. And the exciting thing is, is Heru is coming with us this time. Yay. I still think he thinks he's going to the pet hotel. But he's like, this is not the way to the pet hotel, so he's very suspicious. Very sus, huh, hey dude? So that'll be super exciting. We are staying at a, a pet-friendly hotel. Um, and the main reason we're going up to Monterey is uh, there's going to be a jazz festival in town. So that's going to be one of the things that we'll be doing. We also have plans to visit the Monterey Aquarium, which I heard is really awesome. And then there's also this 17-mile drive through mm. Pebble Beach. And there's this little cute town that everyone says that me and Mark will fall in love with called Carmel. So we're going to take you along for our adventures for this weekend. And um, yeah, let's have fun. Let's go. Drive safe. Traffic. And traffic. <laughs> we haven't even.